Good morning and welcome back to the Social Stack 66 Day Challenge, Get Started in Social Media. I'm Amy Stack and today is day six of our challenge. Responding to customers and clients quickly and consistently is key to building credibility. Plus, you can earn a very responsive to messages badge on Facebook when you do this through Messenger. So today I'm going to show you how to set up a pop-up messenger tab and an autoresponder. But before I do that, if this is your first time here and you want to learn more about marketing and social media for business, start now by subscribing to my channel by clicking the red subscribe button and then click the bell icon so you don't miss a thing. As you can see, I have our friend Laura's business page pulled up here. And I'm actually going to give you a little sample demonstration, if you would, of what I'm talking about with this Facebook autoresponder. So I'm going to go look at my friend Michelle on her business page. And you can see I've loaded in her business page. And right here we have this little pop-up window. And it asks some frequently asked questions. And I could type in there and start talking to Michelle or leave her a message right from this screen. Additionally, you'll see if I leave and go to another page on Facebook, that stays. It follows me until I physically hit that close tab and decide I want it to go away. <clears throat> so we're going to show you how to set that up. From your business page, come over to the left hand side here. And you're going to go all the way to the bottom and hit Page Settings. Then you'll see the second option is Messaging. So click on that. And there's several options on this page here. <clears throat> the first section is General Settings. It says use the return key to send messages. I do like to leave that on. That means when you're typing a message and you hit Enter, hitting Enter will send the message. So you don't have to click it on the screen. The next section says starting a messenger conversation. So yours probably says off. And it's just a way you can see right here, greet people before they send your page a message. Your greeting appears in the chat window before a message is sent or in the about section of your business's messenger profile. That means as soon as somebody comes to your page, that window will pop up and prompt them to talk to you. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. And then you can see in the blue here, it's showing us what is already pre-populated to go out. So if you want to update that, just hit change. <clears throat> and you can see, <clears throat> excuse me, the message right here. So it says, hi, Laura, and this is personalized. So you can see it's the full name of the re recipient. Um, and then it says, thanks for getting in touch with us on Messenger. Please send us any questions you may have. So maybe I want to make that a little more personal and say me. I can just edit that right here. And maybe I don't want it to be their full first and last name. So I'm going to click the X there and hit this Add Personalization button. Here, I can choose if I just want it to be first name, last name, full name, etc. down the line. So I just want it to be one name. And you can see that my message has, it gave me a little sample here of what that would look like. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Save. And you can see right here what that's going to look like. The next section here is showing me my direct link. Well, Laura's. I'm logged in as Laura. So it's going to show you your direct link to Messenger. So if you want somebody to be able to communicate with you easily through Facebook Messenger, you can just copy this link and send it to them. Then our next section is a way to add Facebook Messenger to your website. So if you have a website outside of Facebook and you want to integrate that, this Get Started button will help you get information on how to do that. And then what we're going to dig into a little bit more is hitting this during a messenger conversation. So you can set up automated responses. It says customize responses that are automatically sent to people in the automated response tab in the inbox. So I'm going to go ahead and hit setup. And I want to close all of these because it just makes it a little bit easier to see when you're starting. So you can see there's some main options here. And the first one is greet customers. So you can see that we have an away message and it is turned off. So if I double click that, it will open this, which we happen to already be in. But on the right hand side, you can see the message that is scheduled or set up to go out if you have it on. 
So it's turned off right now. I'm going to go ahead and hit edit and turn that on. And let me actually go back really quick. So I just want you guys to be able to see this. So when away messages are on, uh, the business page is away and sends an automatic message. That's what we see on the right here. You can manually make the, your business page away in your inbox or you can schedule times. So this edit button will let you schedule times. So if you have certain times that you know you're always going to be listed as away, you can do that right here. And then what it's saying is you can also do it from within your app inside Messenger to set uh, yourself as away. And then you can customize that message that goes out. So to change those times and customize the message, just hit edit. And you can see I have it set up to be away all day Sunday. So I'm saying that Laura's, you know, taking Sundays off and she can always come back in and update this. And you can change this with Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. You just click the days you want and you can change the hours here too. So if maybe you're, you take a half day one day, you can put the, the half days in there. Okay. Then we have customize the message you send. So again, just like on that last screen I was showing you, you can customize the message that comes up for your away message. So this is only going to show up when your page is set to away. So again, thanks for your message. We're away and can't respond right now. We appreciate you reaching out. And I'll make that match so it's all first person. And one thing to consider is saying when you'll be back and when they can expect to hear a response from you. You could also say, you know, I'm out with the client or, you know, something like that. I'm on an appointment. That way it makes them a little bit more understanding that, you know, you are putting your current clients best with best intention. You're doing your giving your best intention for your current clients, giving them all your attention right now. So they know that when you're they're your client in the future, that you're not going to be talking to a bunch of other people while you're trying to service them. So you could do something like that as well. So you could say like I'm most likely with a client and can't respond right now. You could also say if you know Sunday is your day that you always don't work. say something like that. Thanks for your message. I take Sundays to spend time with my family and we'll respond to your message Monday morning. So people will appreciate that. They understand that, especially in our case, Laura is a real estate agent. People, um, there's a common conception that agents work all the time, 24 seven. However, if you set up that expectation going into it, they will respect that. They understand that you need time to spend with your family and to have a life. So I gave you a couple of options of things you can put in there. I do think it's important that you set up a, some sort of expectation for them to understand when you'll get back to them. So they're not just waiting and feel like they've been waiting forever and ever. So if you say that you're going to get back to them Tuesday and you get back to them Monday, they're going to be excited because you're getting back early. But if you say you're going to get back to them Monday morning and you don't call them until Monday night, they're going to be a little frustrated. So make sure you, you put the right text in there and you're actually responding when you say you will be. So make sure when you're done with this, you come up to the top right hand corner and hit save. And then we're going to go share info about your page. Close this. <clears throat> And yours probably says off here, so frequently asked questions. Again, respond to the first message someone sends your business page um, in the Messenger app or on Instagram. So Facebook does own Instagram, so this will work for messages in Instagram as well, if you have that set up already. You can customize your message to say hello, give them more information about your business page, or let them know when to expect a response. So very similar to that away message. So. You can see that this will be sent automatically. It's sent is instantly. And we have our text here that you can see an example of. Thanks for contacting us. We've received your message and appreciate you reaching out. So I want to hit edit if I want to change any of that. So again, you can type right in here however you want that to appear. 
and you can add personalization if you want. I'm going to go ahead and hit save on that. And our next option on the left is share info about your page. So let's minimize this. We'll open share about your page and frequently asked questions. So again, I have this turned on already. Yours is probably off. You just hit that toggle to turn on. And then you can say suggest questions people can ask your page, then set up automated responses to those questions. So if I go back to Michelle's page, now that I've closed her messenger tab, I'll have to open it. But you can see that it's suggesting some these four questions right here. So that's what we're going to be able to set up in this section that I'm showing you. Okay, so right here. So to do that, you can say see that automated responses are sent instantly after somebody taps the question. So if I were to tap, can I speak with an agent, we would get an auto responder right away. But I don't want to bug Michelle. <laughs> and then just note right here, you can see frequently asked questions will appear at the beginning of a conversation, just like they did here. It was the first thing that popped up. Um, you can also choose to add these questions to a menu which people can access throughout the entire conversation. So that's something for a little bit down the line. I'm going to go ahead and hit edit. Let's see here. So we don't have any questions set up yet. So if I hit add a question, I now have the option to put my frequently asked questions in there. So we can see Michelle says, can I speak to an agent? That's a great question. Laura is also an agent. We'll put that in there. And then we can put in an automated response. So this is the question the customer or client would click on, and this is the response they'll receive. I'm going to put hi, and I want to add personalization. Put their first name. So I can put, I'm looking forward to speaking with you. What are you looking to learn today? So that prompts them to give another message. Now, you can see there's a couple other options here. One is add a button. So just like on the Facebook uh, business page where we were able to add a button, you could do that right within Messenger. So if you want to prompt them to look at your website, download your app, make an appointment, whatever those are um, that works for your business, you can hit that add a button, and that would also show up in the Messenger tab. And then we also have add an attachment. So if I click on that, you can see my options are to add an image or add a video. So let's say one of Laura's frequently asked questions is how do I start a home buying process? And so if somebody clicks that question, she can say, thanks so much for reaching out. Please take a look at my step-by-step -step home buyer's guide. And she can upload an image of her home buyer's guide right there. Um, so if you have something like that as a PDF, you can just save it as a JPEG. This will have to come in as an image, so it'll have to be something like a JPEG or a PNG or your video file. So you can do an MP4, and I don't think you can do links, so it has to be an original file. So if you have one of those you want to add, just hit that Add Attachment button, and that will auto, that'll be part of your autoresponder. It'll be baked right in there for you. And then before it mentioned that you could add a menu. So that's what this button is here. So we turn it off or you can turn it on. If you want to add more questions, you just keep going down the line here. I'm going to go ahead and hit save on that. The next option here is respond to feedback. So I'll go ahead and click page recommended. So if somebody has recommended your page publicly, you can automatically send them a response. So you can say something like, thank you so much. I'd love to share on your behalf if it's another business or here's a you know $5 Starbucks gift card, something like that. So how, whatever you want that to look like, you can do that. It can just be a message of appreciation that you don't have to give something back. Um, I'm going to leave that off for now, but to turn that on, you would just toggle that on and then edit just like we have been doing to customize that message. Same thing for page not recommended, if I click on that. So if somebody uh, 
sends a message publicly, I shouldn't say sends messages, if they publicly share that they're not recommending your page, you can automatically send them a message to, you know, see what's going on, why they're saying they don't recommend you, see if you can kind of make that a better situation and, and make them happy and satisfy them. Again, I'm going to leave this one off for now, but that's what those buttons are. Communicate about jobs. So if you're posting that you have a job opening, this is a way to automate messages around that. And then communicating about appointments. So if you have set up uh, some sort of way to book appointments through Facebook, you can actually play with these settings here and you can send reminders right through Facebook and follow up messages as well. So I'm going to leave both of those off. We set up the greet customers frequently asked questions, and our away message. Right now it says it's off because I set it to be on on Sundays. So there's no away message right now because it's Saturday. So tomorrow that'll go on. And I haven't set any of these up, but I wanted to make sure you knew what they were. So that's how you set up these instant message pop-ups and responders. That's, as I mentioned earlier, that's great to know about because you want to seem readily available all the time. People want information on demand, and this will help them feel satisfied and like they're getting a response immediately for you. So that concludes our training for today on Sunday, setting up autoresponders and that pop-up messenger for when people come to visit your business page. Uh, <clears throat> please go ahead and join me tomorrow for our next challenge. But before that, let me know in the comments what some of your favorite uh, questions, your frequently asked questions are that you can, that you receive from your clients that you can schedule and set Facebook to respond on your behalf. Remember to go ahead and like and subscribe and then click the bell for alerts so that you can be notified when new videos become available. I'll see you tomorrow.